Welcome back, dear viewers, to another captivating episode on our channel. Today, we're diving into a remarkable and captivating piece of history, the Aboriginal Tent Embassy, Indigenous Activism in Australia. But before we begin, I have a surprising and extraordinary treat for you all. I had the privilege of meeting with an elder of the Aboriginal community who graciously shared some powerful insights and stories about the Tent Embassy. Stay tuned, as I'll be incorporating their wisdom throughout this video. Now, let's embark on this fascinating journey into the heart of Indigenous activism in Australia. To truly grasp the significance of the Aboriginal Tent Embassy, we must travel back in time to 1972. Picture this, it's a blistering hot day in Canberra, the capital city of Australia, and a small group of Aboriginal activists sets up a makeshift campsite right in front of the old Parliament House. This humble protest site became known as the Aboriginal Ten Embassy, and it was more than just a physical presence, it symbolised the resilience, determination, and fight for justice of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Now, you might wonder, what led to the establishment of this iconic embassy? Well, it all started with the dissatisfaction of the Indigenous community with the Australian government's lack of progress on land rights and other crucial issues. For years, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people faced displacement from their ancestral lands, cultural erasure, and systemic discrimination. They were seeking a platform to amplify their voices, and the Ten Embassy served as that very platform. The Ten Embassy became the epicenter of activism, and with it came a list of demands from the Indigenous community. Foremost among them was the acknowledgement of their land rights and sovereignty. They demanded treaties to ensure fair treatment, respect, and protection of their unique cultural heritage. The journey of the Aboriginal Tent Embassy was not a smooth one. The Australian government didn't take kindly to this bold demonstration of dissent. In 1972, just days after its establishment, the embassy was forcibly removed by authorities. But that didn't stop the activists. They rebuilt the embassy each time it was taken down, showing unwavering determination and resilience. This led to legal battles, with the activists fighting for recognition and protection of their rights under Australian law. Fast forward to 1992, a landmark moment in the history of Indigenous rights in Australia. The High Court's Mabo decision overturned the concept of terra nullius, recognising the existence of Indigenous land rights before British colonisation. This was a tremendous victory for the Tent Embassy's cause. Over the years, the Aboriginal Tent Embassy transcended its local significance and gained international attention. Solidarity movements sprouted globally, with people from various nations joining hands to support the cause of the Indigenous Australians. Today, several decades since its inception, the Aboriginal Tent Embassy still stands as a testament to the enduring power of peaceful protest and grassroots activism. It remains an essential symbol of Indigenous resilience, heritage, and struggle for justice. Now, let's go back to my meeting with the Elder from the Aboriginal community. They shared a heartwarming story about the impact of the Ten Embassy on their own life. The Ten Embassy has been the heart of our fight for justice. It's where our ancestors' spirits reside guiding us to keep fighting for our land, culture, and future generations. Thank you for sharing that powerful insight. It's moments like these that remind us of the human connection and shared struggles that bring us together. As we wrap up this video, I hope you've been as captivated as I have been by the incredible journey of the Aboriginal Tent Embassy. It's a reminder that activism, persistence, and unity can spark meaningful change, even in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. 
And a big thank you to the wonderful elder who shared their story with us today. Until next time, keep exploring, learning, and standing up for what's right. This is your historian of Foxaline, signing off.